Hello. Hello. I'd like to uh, share with you my illustrious background. I actually graduated from medical school in the year of our Lord, 1983. And it was these 35 years of experience, medical practice, extensive education that informed my material tonight. <laughs> Now, the medical industrial complex lately has been getting blamed for a lot of things. Uh, specifically, the 107,000 people every year in the United States alone who die as a result of medication prescribed properly according to the standard of care. Here's a case where the medical industrial complex could be credited with a rescue. Yes. And this, this is a conversation between two ladies at their 40th high school reunion. And the first lady says, Marge, you look splendid. You must have married well. Mm -hmm. And Marge says, no, I widowed well. <laughs> <laughs> well, Marge, how'd you do that? My husband was admitted to the hospital for routine tests. I flashed my platinum insurance card and told them to do everything and give the highest dose of every drug the standard of care would allow. <laughs> that was it. No messy divorce. And I have everything. <laughs> what well, well, gee, uh, did he suffer? You bet he did. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <coughs> it couldn't have been that easy. <coughs> well, there was one glitch. A Dr. Do-Good noticed that my husband was getting worse and wanted to stop some medications. Golly, Marge, how'd you get around that? <laughs> I just threatened to sue if the standard of care was not followed. <laughs> well, well, well then, then what happened? Hospital risk management got the senior doctor to overrule Dr. Duguid. Too easy. There won't even be an investigation. <laughs> wow! My marriage could sure use that help. <laughs> Girlfriend, go for it. <laughs> That's the first little vignette. We have another one. <laughs> now, the medical industrial complex has also been known to rescue the careers of movie stars. Um, this is a confidential conversation between Angelina Jolie and her agent. And the agent said, sorry Angelina, you can't get that part unless you get a boob job. What? And tarnish my Angelina Jolie brand? I have to come off as a thoughtful, caring individual who's totally cool with her body. Not some fading tart trying to extend her career with a boob job. He says, well, look, look, I have a contact at the Pink Ribbon Society. Maybe we can work it into a joint promotion. Your boob job promotes breast cancer awareness. Angelina Brand gets a boost, and your boob job goes through. How's that? Awesome. Just give me my lines. <laughs> now, this last one is about crime. Not just any crime. Violent crime. And uh, people in Bulgaria, I understand, are concerned about violent crime. Why well, even the American uh, Embassy is putting on a program to help us minimize our chances of being a victim of violent crime. And so, in this uh, little vignette, the criminal whips out his gun and says, Your money and your life. The victim says, Wait. Don't I get a choice? My money or my life? And the criminal says, no. This is health care. We get both. <laughs> <laughs>